Hello everyone and welcome to the Timer Pit, your home for educational and timer videos. Today I'm going to show you how to use Satori.com, the best place for your students to make timelines on the internet. So one of my favorite sites to use when having my students create timelines is Satori.com. So we'll go over here and click sign up. You can see you have a variety of options to use when trying to sign up. If your school is a school system is a Google school system or a Microsoft school system, or if you have Clever, I mean, you have plenty of options to choose. I uh, signed up for my account with Google and I used my, my school Google account for signing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and log myself in. So when you log in, this is the screen you will see. You can see you have your stories, which you can see some of my stories are down here. Students, which I'll show you here in a second. Resources, and this is where you begin to start to create your story. So before we go to create our story, let me just show you what the student section is about. When you click on students, it'll take you to this screen here and you can see where it says invite students. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on it. What's awesome with Satori is that it is beautifully integrated with Google Classroom. Um, so if you are a Google Classroom uh, teacher who uses Google Classroom, it is a super simple process of getting your, um, you just log into your account and you can upload all your students into Satori right away. And so it's integrated beautifully with uh, Google Classroom. If you're not, and this year my school system has switched over to uh, Office 365, you have a little teacher code which the students are used to using to get them into uh, Satori. All right, so to create your stories, you can go ahead and click Create Story. You can see they give you some different templates to choose from here. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose blank. All right, so up top you have a big screen where you can put in a picture if you so choose. And down here is where you, the timeline part of it can begin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put in robotics. I'm not even gonna bother with this short introduction to your story that's kind of self-explanatory. You can put a heading in there if you want. So you can see here, there's a blue plus button. So if I click it, it gives me some options. Now, right now I'm using the free versions and that's really all I need. This is one reason why I like it so much. Even the free version, I can get a lot done. So I can choose between text and image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click text. And I'm just going to put 1984 and then just type something in. You can see here you have an uh, option to add media. Um, so it's real easy to add pictures in. And I'm going to stop here and just kind of show you a, a brief version of one I've done with my students recently. Okay, so this is an example I made for my students uh, about a week ago um, when we were talking about robotics in the classroom. So you can see I changed the yellow banner to an actual robot hand. And if you click on the three dots here, it lets you in to be able to go in and choose um, different pictures. And it's very intuitive. You just type in a word and whole, all kinds of different pictures will pop up. You scroll down, you can see like I said, robotics timeline. And you can see the different things I put in. You can see I have an image there my date, a little information. And like I said, what I love about this is just, it's very simple and easy to use. The little blue dot is there for me to add my next one in and see my options pop up there. And it is just, it's great, I love it. Now the other cool thing is too, you see this little present button. So if I click it, see I'm in present mode now. And it's a nice little presentation tool that they can use. And there I am right there. So this is just an example of how to use Satori. It's something I love using with my students, when, especially when making timelines in the classroom. Thank you for watching. And I appreciate any likes. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when more educational videos drop soon. See you guys.